Hi, uh, this section will be demonstrating uh, how you can copy effects from um, other presets and put them into your current editing one, um, as well as manipulating presets within the story screen. So, first off, get to your story screen, which you can do by the clicking the top name there, or you can click it over there. Uh, it's popping up with the rename bit because it's flashing because I've edited something, so ignore that. Um, right, right, I've edited this uh, Elvis, Elvis Radio, Radio one, one. Um, um, you, so you can, you can hear there's a bit of a delay going, going on. on. Um, um, I, I could, could turn that off, off like that. Whoops. So now it's uh, no effects. Um, I can turn it back on either by the button there or by pressing it on the voice, voice slide three. three. So, so the, the delay comes back, back in there. there. That's, That's pressing on the voice slide three, by the way. Um, um, Say, so for, for example, example, I wanted, I wanted to, to take, take the um, the, uh, the the delay, delay or the echo from, uh, let's think of one, one. Uh, you, you give, give love a bad name. name. So, so if, if I, I press, press and hold the mouse down, down to like, like grab on it, it, I can then move it up. up. If, if I, I drop, drop it on, what, what you've noticed there is that things have gone yellow and green. So if I drop it in one of the effects buttons, which have got gone yellow, I'm just, I'm just taking, taking out, out that, that effect from, from that, that preset. preset. So, so that's taken out the delay if I dropped it there, or the harmony if I dropped it there. If, if I want to take out all the vocals, vocals I could drop, drop it there where it says active vocal, vocal effects, effects, drop it in there, that'd be all the vocal effects. effects. And the and same, same principle, principle is over here as well. So I can take the whole of the guitar section out, all bits of it. And there's also another one popped up which isn't normally there, it's the button map. So you can take out the button mapping just for the vocal effect or the button mapping just for the guitar effect. And you can also take out hit parameters as well if you wanted to, if that makes sense. Um, the bit in green, if I was to drop it up there, that would take the whole uh, of a step out. So if I drop it there, it asks me, there's only one step in it like there is on this, uh, you give them a bad name one. Um, it would allow me to uh, put, put that, that complete step, step into uh, Elvis Radio. Radio. But as, as I, I want just the delay, delay, I can put the delay over there. there. And, now and, now, and now I've got a quarter, quarter delay, delay, as quarter you can hear the difference. The difference. Um, um, I could do the same principle for, I don't know what the hard tune echo one is. What's that one? What's that one? What's that one? It's a half delay. It's a half delay. Yeah, so you get the idea. You can also search. Uh, what it'll do is it highlights them. Um, so let me think. Let me think. You can see it's uh, highlighting there, like step valor, valor vampire WK. See the P I from that. Um, I think for a good one. And another brick. brick. That's, That's probably got, got some harmonies and stuff in it. So, so I'm going to grab, grab that, that one, put it on the delay block. block. And that's a quarter delay, delay. as we can hear. But the, the, the uh, another brick one has probably got harmonies in it. I uh, might have some double. And it's, what else it might have? I don't know if it's got choir in. Um, so I just turn them on, and then if I go back to this another brick and put in the harmony, um, I'm not sure what it sounds like now, you can hear a couple of other voices going on, there's a double, a double, oh no, uh, we're getting there, uh, has it got choir, oh okay. no, it's just another brick in the wall. Right, that's taken out individual effects. Um, if, I, if I want to take out just the vocal, I like, could just grab it and drop it up, all vocals. And now we get back to all of this just another brick in the wall. Go back to Elvis Radio. Um, so that's how you can basically. Uh, copy, copy effects, effects from, from presets. presets. Um, um, 
Now, if the preset has more than one step in it, what it does, it gives you the option of where you want, uh, where you want to get it from. So, as this one here, let ACDC one, I can grab that one because I want to delay out of that. Now, that preset's got six steps in it, so it's wanting to know now do I want to delay from um, uh, step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, step six. Of, uh, of that one, so I'll take it from step five and click apply. So that's now got the um, delay from step five of that ACDC one there. Um, now, if I wanted to think, oh, I, I want this preset number four, and I'd have an extra step. Um, so I click on current step. I see now change. I've got this bit here. It says plus 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 plus. Um, so I wanted an extra one step. Click that one, and it will add one step. And go to that one. It'll add one, two, three steps. So this preset will contain four steps. Um, so I just can add another two. So click that one. It says add in two steps. Preset will be saved. Um, it has to save it because your preset has changed drastically because it's got two extra steps in. So now preset four has got three steps. Now they're all the same because they'll all be based on number uh, the first step. Um, so if I wanted the whole vocal from this one, grab it up there uh, to that one, um, up to there, drop it, and I want it's preset from so uh, Elvis Radio. <laughs> uh, uh, what have I done there? I don't want it to do that actually. That one's got three steps in. So I take the this one, which is number four, which has got one step in it, put it up there. And now I want that one to be step two. Uh, so now, if I go to steps, that's step uh, one, that's step two, that's step one, no, uh, step three, I mean. Um, step three is a copy of step one because that's what we did when we added it. Um, but that, that is, is a, a totally different. You can hear the difference there. there. Yeah, so that will hopefully makes a bit of sense. Uh, that one. Um, and that's about it. So quite easy to just take an effect out or the whole effect out. I should just drag it around and drop it. Um, if I was going to move some presets around. Um, Let's go back to the beginning somewhere. Uh, say this one V, one voice fixed and one voice pedal. If I grab that and move it and drop it there, it wants to know do I want to overwrite it? So that in which case there'd be that one would be one V fixed and so this one be one V fixed. Or I can tell it to swap. So if I tell it to swap, they'll change over like so. So you can quite easily move them all around. And the same way there, put it back to where it was, like so. Um, if I'd edited some of these and I want to get it back to what the de uh, machine's default setting is, I can just right click it, delete. Oh, I'm sure you want to delete 48 age required too. Yes. Uh, let's delete it. Because, um, you can't physically delete a preset that that's got, you cannot physically delete a make a police set totally blank um, so by delete that one in the factory is set at angel choir 2 you can override it do whatever you like with it um, just to prove that if I go running on mountain put it over mountain 2 uh, I'll just say overwrite so 48 now is running on mountain if I then delete that one it'll then put it back to angel choir 2 um, so you can overwrite them but you Anyone which, when, when you get the machine brand new, uh, if there is something in that preset number, there will always be something in that preset number. Even if you delete it, it'll, always goes, it'll go back to that particular one. Hope that makes sense. Uh, and that's how you can basically manoeuvre, uh, manipulate all your effects. Uh, quite effective. Um, what's very handy is, is like the whole guitar one. So if you've got a preset uh, which you've made yourself a really, really good acoustic guitar sound and you want to use on a couple of your presets, um, just open up, edit the, open up the one that you want to edit and just drag the whole guitar effect so it just takes up just the guitar stuff and just drop it there very quickly done um, 
So uh, there you go. Enjoy.